Hello students. Today I am going to talk about nodal analysis. Basically nodal analysis is an application of KCL, Kirchhoff's current law. As per Kirchhoff's current law, the total current at any node or junction is equal to zero. And this is what we are going to apply in the case of nodal analysis. Let us start with the same. I have drawn a circuit diagram, a basic circuit diagram just to understand how to apply nodal analysis. Everything is unavailable to us. We are just trying to write down how to write down the equation with the help of nodal analysis. The first thing what we are going to do over here is assume the voltage at junctions or nodes. So let us consider the same. First of all, I have considered these two junctions over here. Let us assume the voltage VA and VB at these two junctions. And then we are going to apply KCL at both the junctions. The first assumption that we are going to take is the assumed voltage is at the highest potential in our circuit. So how the current is actually going to flow? The current is always going to flow from higher potential to the lower potential. So let us take the first case, node VA. At node VA, as per the assumption, the voltage at VA is the highest voltage. Okay. So first of all, what is a node and a junction? Node is where two or more than two branches are joining with each other. Whereas a junction is a point where three or more than three branches are connected with each other. That means all the junctions can also be treated as nodes. That is why I am using the word junction or node over here. Coming back to the point, at node VA, as the potential at node VA is the highest potential. So the current is going to flow from higher potential to the lower potential. So now let us see how the direction is going to be there. The direction will be outward, higher potential to lower potential, higher potential to lower potential, similarly higher potential to the lower potential. That means at node VA, let us apply KCL, we will get I1 plus I2 plus I3 is equal to 0. What is the value of I1 now? I1. How to write down the value of I1? That can simply be written with the help of Ohm's law. Ohm's law says that I is equal to V upon R, where V is nothing but the potential difference of our branch. So that means, now what is the potential difference of this branch containing current I1? VA minus V1, the potential difference, divided by R1. Similarly, the value for I2, VA minus 0, because the potential of ground is 0. So, VA minus 0 upon R2. Whereas, the third current I3 will be VA minus VB divided by R3. That is equal to 0. So, that means, now, in this equation, rest everything will be available to you while solving the numericals except VA and VB. Similarly, let us try to write down the equation at node B. That is VB. Now, again, as per the assumption, the voltage at node B is the highest potential of our circuit. So once again, how the current is going to flow? Higher potential to lower potential, I4 outward. Higher potential to lower potential, I5. Similarly, higher potential to the lower potential, I6. So again, I4 plus I5 plus I6 is equal to 0. Now what is the value of I4? I4 will be VB minus VA upon I R3. Why VB minus VA now? Because while considering node B, that is VB, now VB is the highest potential. Similarly, VB minus 0 upon R4, the second value, I5. And third, I6, VB minus V2 upon R5. This is how we can actually write down the equations with the help of nodal analysis, which is nothing but the application of Kirchhoff's current law. So now we have two equations. In numericals, everything will be available to you. For example, all the value of resistances, 
the value of input voltage is V1, V2 respectively and thus you can easily calculate the value of VB and VA by solving two equations for two unknown variables.